Oh, hey there. Name's Franklin Lightning Bush. Nice to meet you. Um, were you here for the fire tutorial or did you want to review this lens? All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. The cinema could be ours, my friend. You don't know that it isn't. We are on the Mikey. 25 mil Tony 0 0.95 bringing us back to the good old days of the Mitocon only this lens is heavier bigger sharper funner and it's on a black magic now you have no idea the pain of this rig it is so caged up my goodness so we got the cam tree cage on there here's the Mickey with a free well six to nine stop even with the nine stops at Tony 0 0.95 this thing is freaking clip and everything oh man the small rig battery plate which is powering both the camera and this newer monitor and my god my god it's heavy it's like 2500 grams or something and I can see if things are in focus kind of on this camera with the 2.88 times crop factor it's roughly a 72 millimeter lens Tony 2.7 bringing this tiny less than one inch sensor into full frame territory. I'm just saying no speed boosters. It's a micro four thirds mount lens. I could be in focus. I focused on that thing. No idea if I'm too tall for the shot. I've been told that a lot. I am five foot seven. I'm tall. You'll never guess what I focused on. Oh, that will remain a mystery for you. I'm sorry about that. The first thing we must determine, does this lens have 3D pop? Am I separated, popping out of the background? It's a separate thing from Tone. It's not about the background blur, it's about popping out of the blur due to low element count infusions of glass. It's an 11 elements. That's a fairly modest amount. We don't like these 18 element super freaks. Just give me something to think about. Am I popping? The real way to test 3D pop, in my experience, is to be very far away from the camera. And if you're still separated, you're 3D popping. I was trying to balance that tripod on the hill and it was, there was no way. It kept tipping down and I was like, oh, I think you can shorten one of the legs. And then it tilts that way. We're learning together, my friend. Let's stop it down to 2.8 and see. Oh, here's the magical sharpness. I'll wait for nothing. Next to me is a ton of addict. He's in a dream, not realizing he's not only unsharp, but he's unsophisticated. He's standing awkward. What, do you, what is that stance? How are you not falling right now? Yeah, adjust it. You're weird. It's not a dream state. Nobody cares that the background's blurred. They just care that your show sucks. You haven't changed a damn thing in 10 weeks. Who needs the background to be blurred? It's beautiful. I love brown brown branches, dead deadness. When it comes to the build quality of this lens and how the manual focus ring focuses, if you could just call the police and then I'll, I'll do it after they get here. This is heavy. The toniature is clickless. That may be your preference or not. I like a clicky one, but technically as a filmmaker now, you want the clickless so you can go from indoors to outdoors with a smooth, nobody likes you. So there's that. It's a solid, hefty metal beast. It's like my Mitocon was a tiny lens, cute. Now this one's like the professional version of it, I think, as we're seeing. Hefty, full metal build, heavy, solid. I like those odds. 62 mil filter frets. I said freds. Oh, that's a, you can't take two on that one. Okay, I don't mean to alarm you, but you're about to witness magic, my friend, as we show you the closest focusing distance. Wide open, you wait for it. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, hurry up. The cinema is ours. It's a magical plant. Oh, I already passed the distance. Wow. Oh my God. That's so heavy. Okay, there we stop down to 2.8. It's a magical lens, my friend. You can do macro. I'm just a couple inches away from that thing. 
On a regular Micro Four Thirds body, this would be a 50 mil 21.9. Can you imagine this on a GH6? You got the stave in there. The Blackmagic OG, it's a little cumbersome. It doesn't actually make lenses sing. Nothing sharp, but it's vintage in its own way. But like GH6, you're running and gunning. You got your flippy screen, manual focus, no problem with your lacking phase detect. Wow, 300 frames per second with that kind of shallow depth of field. 3D pop, maybe. Have we proved that or not? No, none. Portrait lens. I do like the 50 mil. This is a bit tighter now, 72-ish. There is controversy. Was that a raccoon or a coyote or a hybrid of both? Some say the Blackmagic OG is a 2.88 times crop. And I don't think it's even true because the speed booster 0.58 times brings it to 175. And if you do the math on that, that's more like coming from a 3.02 times crop. Who's right? Metabones or black magic? You'll never guess what I focused on. There's a deflated football. That's never a good sign. Okay, I'm gonna go home now and review this lens. I'm gonna see if I like it and will nice camera conspiracies be in our living room or the mean one that we're all afraid of. Was this a nice lens? Did I enjoy the shots we got so far? Let's do some epic B-roll. And then I'll see you at home, buddy. Are we sharp? You never, you can't guarantee. Just because you focused on that doesn't mean you understand the 3D depth layout of our Earth. Am I in line with it? Do I need to be slightly in front? I was on the Sony, like back here. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I think this could be, I'll leave. I'll leave. Am I still in the shot? This is poison ivy, isn't it? Oh, the three leaves. Oh, it's a dead giveaway. Yeah, just go this way. There is three leaves on that thing. That's definitely poison ivy. My shirt touched it. What's gonna happen to my laundry? Am I in focus? I'll leave. child opposite of practical he stopped wide open to get the tunnel but nothing's in focus he thinks he's dreamy but really we just see that he's soft everywhere it's embarrassing when you try to shoot wide open for everything and then you get all your footage back and you're like oh that's what happens when you miss focus on every single shot i only had one chance at that outing it's gonna rain later that's on me, Mickey. Is it Mikey or Mickey? How you doing? I stopped it down. So here's the reality. Fantastic lens. Doesn't have a fault in its soul. I am the only one to blame here. For some reason, now that I own a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera original, I feel like I'm a filmmaker, but I have none of the skills of an actual filmmaker. So every shot I take is out of focus, misaligned, top heavy, overblown, underblown. I suck at life. I need auto mode for everything. And this is full manual. And we see what happens when I take control of bad things to good people and good companies like Miki, Mikey.com. The lens doesn't appear very sharp, wide open and just a side rant. I don't understand company. Lots of companies do this. Lawa, Mitocon, why do you make an f0.95 lens 
weighing as much as it should, but not be sharp wide open. What's the point of having the thing? You carry the weight of an f0.95 lens, but you don't get the results of someone who cared when they made it. That's what I see a lot happening. It's like, oh, f0.95. Can you use it there? No. No, don't ever do that. We actually have a stop, a hard stop that you can't go past 1.4. Don't ever go back. Like, why? Why are we doing it? Like, it could be so much lighter. Just focus. I don't need tack sharp. That's stupid talk. Just give me something that's not like a dual, double-lensed ghosting effect. It's fun for a dream effect if you're a soap opera. I don't know, man. It's a decent lens. It's cheap. It's metal. Frickin' 0 0.95. You'll get that shot at night. Will it be in focus? I can't guarantee that. But it's a good lens. I stand by it. I tell you, I was pretty disappointed looking at all the footage. Just because, like, nothing felt in focus. If you're at f0.95 and you focus 100 yards away, I don't know, man. Is it that thin of a depth of field from that distance? That, like, I'm standing next to a tree, but I'm here and I'm out completely? I don't know. If it, I was just underexposed and that's why I looked out of focus? That What a bullshit day that was i am so disappointed in myself i hate this life i've created for myself why it's so simple with just can any us are sony a7s3 why am i looking for anything else good lens mickey is this part of the review i'm gonna leave i didn't leave and i stopped it up again tony 0 0.95 i got closer there's so much done even though it's less than a one inch sensor I took it back with the help of Miki. They help you when you need it most. Get the lens through my affiliate links. There are no links, but it's down there somewhere. It's a good lens, isn't it? Imagine on a GH6 in the hands of a professional. I wouldn't even want to know the beauty that could be ours. I'm going to leave. Thank you for watching and buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Am I in focus? I love that you can't flip the sides of the monitors. When I move this way, the monitor does that way, and I can never frame myself. I'm going to leave. Subscribe more videos. See you Oh, hey there. <laughs> Name's Bootney Buckle Park. Name's Bootney Buckle Pouch. Oh, hey there. Name's Lightning Counter Punch. <laughs>